Hello everybody, today we are taking a look at another LEGO Ideas set. This one is one of my personal favorites from what I've seen. It's actually one of those that I've been actually been wanting for quite a long time. This is the LEGO Ideas Treehouse. And once again, if you don't know what LEGO Ideas is, it is basically a fan service theme where fan designers can come up with a model and if LEGO likes it and if there's enough support, LEGO will turn it into an actual set. So, this one is special because it provides or promotes a probably what I call an eco-friendly future. What do I mean by that? Well, you'll find out later. So, let's get right into this set. Alright, this is the box. As you can see, it is a very big box. I, in fact, I may need to zoom out even more. Move the camera back. There we go. Two, I think this was 270, 270 bucks in Canada. So this box is just about as big as Assembly Square and a bunch of other big sets. But yeah, set 21318 with 3,036 pieces. There you go, and right here shows you the alternate version of the treehouse that you can turn it into. And then if you look on the other side of the box, this. Sorry, I'm in the way, I know. There you go. This side, it actually just shows the autumn version of the treehouse, the, the fall version. So, it really shows you that you can, there are two different versions of this treehouse. So, the box art is presented quite nicely. I mean, it tells you what you can get out of, or what, you, what, what to expect out of the set. So, that is. That is the box. All right, minifigures. There are four minifigures in this set, and they are all average citizen minifigures. Now, I've said this before, I am a big fan of average citizen minifigures, and that is because they have no character, and you can def if you want to create a population for like your Lego city or something, these would be perfect because there's nothing special about them. They're just your everyday people, and from that, you can create characters from them. So. They have four of these in this set, and that is done quite well. So number one, I believe this is like the treehouse manager or something. Uh, it's the face print is nothing new. We've seen this before, but hair piece is quite nice. The torso is done nicely with his uniform, and yeah, apart from that, not too much for him. Now we have two kiddos, two kid figures. So I guess I'll start with this one. I guess this one's like also like working for the treehouse because she's also wearing a very similar uniform to the other guy. So focus camera. Focus camera. There we go. So yeah, but she she's got a pretty nice um what do you call it? Headpiece here with the with the hair and then the hat, the cap. Um, one of my favorite pieces because it's like a dual molded headpiece and that is, I think, like in terms of making your own minifigures, that is done quite well. And uh, she's got just a pretty basic but a pretty good overall torso print. And then we have this little kid, kind of like a nerdy kid. I mean, at least that's what he looks like to me. Um, he looks, he's got the, yeah, he's got like the... I think I've seen this shirt before. I think this is also from the Townhouse Toy Store from LEGO Creator 3 and 1. Face, pretty nice. Hair, I call it the coal hair, but it's just a redhead coal hair. <laughs> There's that. And then we have this, I, which I believe is the mom of that kid. So, she's, she's a pretty nice torso print. Um, the hair was a little bit unexpected, but eh, I guess it's fine. The, the hair worked pretty well. Face, I don't know if I've seen this before, but it just it looks recognizable, I'll say that. Maybe it has appeared before, but uh, if it did, then I don't remember whatsoever. So, from the selection of these four minifigures, I gotta say my favorite has to be this guy. Just because I feel like he's one of those, he's it's a pretty well built, well designed kid minifig. So that's what that's it for the minifigures. Another thing is this, this instruction book 
what number one feels like a Bible. Number two, it gives you some context in the beginning where right here, everything, everyone loves a tree house. You can pause the video if you want to read this. And then on this side, this talks about how its goal to make all their pieces plant-based, uh, make it biotonical. And so, yeah, I like where this is going because Again, this is eco-friendly, and eco-friendly is always welcome because it benefits planet Earth. And then, I just here, it just shows you the designer of the set, the maker of the set, the maker, yeah, this is the maker of the set. The person who submitted his idea to LEGO to, you know, create it into an official set. Over here is the actual guy, the designer who turned the this guy's idea into the official set that we have right now. This isn't just, just pages just in French. Apart from that, nothing too much. And then just here to show you this is how you convert the tree, the leaves, different color. So very simple. So that is the Bible, I mean the instruction manual. Now I'm uh, just like to apologize in advance. My lighting is not the greatest right now. It is a little bit screwed up but hopefully this is still enough for you to see about the details contained in this model. Now this treehouse can be converted into two different versions. So you have this standard look, the default tree of all the green leaves, or you can completely swap the color out for those leaves and make it a autumn tree and make it, yeah. So you, depending on whatever season you prefer, you can alternate between these two. And a special thing about this set is this set actually uses biodegradable pieces. What does that mean? That means these pieces are plant-based, and the Legos and or the goal, starting with this set, is to hopefully by 2030 they're gonna hit all of the parts to be plant-based. I guess that's a win-win for the environment. So it's it's nice seeing Legos on a good start, starting with the set. So that's good. But you can really tell how these are made from plants because of how just how flimsy they are. Just I'm just like flickering this. You can really see they, they give like a bounce, very soft, rubbery plastic instead of a hard plastic. So I feel like that is a that could be a problem because uh, it is some clumsy kids, maybe a little bit too irresponsible, and they will end up damaging or even snapping an entire piece. So Lego, if you're gonna do this, take it on a more cautious level. But without further ado, let's get right to the motto. So let's start off down here. We've got some details at the bottom as well, so we can't miss those out, so it's important that we look at those as well. Starting off, we've got a, a river down here. We're using a trans transparent, completely clear transparent blocks. Uh, so there's that, and I think that's a, that's a pretty nice depiction of the treehouse. I think that is done particularly very well. Um, areas of improvement. Maybe add a little more transparent blue to give it more, you know, of the river water-like feeling. But apart from that, I think that's fine. Now these plants here, these plants are also biodegradable. So these are also plant-based with the material that they're made with. Uh, what do I mean by that? Well, no, well, there's a flower right there. But you can see very soft plastic once again, just like the leaves. So be take extra care when you're dealing with these pieces because they are very very flexible so there's that to know in advance now if we turn this around uh, we'll get to this dangling crate of cargo in a second but we, we need to take a look at this side first now on this side we've got a swing it's a classic little swing attached in two chains you can sit a minifigure in it and literally just swing it like that it's not the sturdiest foundation but it, it does its part. It plays its part quite well and it's attached basically all the way up to the top like that. Now, an important factor you can miss out on is the details on the trunk. The trunk does not miss out on details and there is certainly a lot of details. So I'm sorry if this thing keeps bothering you but it's, it's gonna keep dangling like that. I know, that will get pretty annoying. Okay, starting off right in front of here. There's a sticker piece that says, Build Your Dreams, Signature KF. No idea who that is. There's that. And then, looking on this side, up here actually, you can see 
There it is. Uh, sorry about that. There we are. You can actually see there's actual like tree bark pieces, tree logs pieces. And on this side you can see there's a birds, there's a birdhouse right there. With an actual bird, you know, just sitting there feeding off it. That's so the attention to detail on the trunk is pretty important. They definitely do not miss out on that. Uh, they definitely, definitely didn't miss out on that. Okay. Now, one more little thing on the ground level here, and that is this little table, picnic table, for the people living in this treehouse to eat and have lunch. Uh, there's also pumpkins right there, you know, for the for the fall season. I feel like this table is it's done pretty, it's done quite nicely, you know. It doesn't take up a lot of space, and it's still a pretty good build. I think I am very satisfied with the way that table turned out. Not bad at all. And I'm just gonna swing around one more time on this side. Um, nothing too interesting anymore. Except for we got a couple mushrooms back there, red mushrooms. And then the last thing, can't believe I missed this, <laughs> the campfire with a pot of soup cooking on the top. So that's done pretty nicely, the campfire. One of the simplest builds, but it's done pretty nicely. I love how this dangling pot of pot is over. It could be soup, could be stew, who could be what it could be cooking anything for all we know. But this really gives the you know the outdoor camping sort of vibes going on around not just in the treehouse, but around the treehouse already. There's a lot going on, and that's good. So how do we get? How do we access the treehouse? How do we get upstairs? Well, so right down here we got the st we got the pathway. And you come up these flight of stairs. Now these flight of stairs are done pretty nicely. You got little lanterns dangling on the side. Just to give the treehouse lighting of course. It's important that you see them at the night. Then you got a hut one, hut two, and then the third hut is right there. So, a, a really good thing with this tree is, you're probably wondering how do we access those huts? Well, with all these leaves, you can, it's possible. So how does that work? So these branches can actually be moved like that very easily. They all have the ratchet friction. And so they can completely be adjusted to however we want. So if you want, you can cover this all the way, even though that piece would snap. I have no idea where that piece will go. I will be right back. All right. So as I was saying, uh, basically these roofs they're not actually attached securely. They're actually, in fact, pretty loose. As I'm shaking this, you can tell just from the way it is very loose. Now, we can get these leaves out of the way, so move that. We just simply move this up a bit. And this just gives us enough space to just completely take this roof off. And now we can have access inside the hut. Now, in this hut, there's plenty of stuff to be shown. Number one, there's a telescope right here for, you know, I guess for the people to scout out what lies ahead of the journey. Uh, I think this hut is done quite nicely, you know, I think the way it's, the way it's interpreted, the way it's built, really gives, makes it look like a cabin. And I, oh, that is not in frame. I think the way it's just designed, I think that looks pretty decent. The door, what you would expect. There you go, you have a better view of the inside now, which on the topic of that, we should take a look inside. So, I'm gonna move the camera a little closer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have readjusted the camera angle so you can get a better view of the inside. Now, this is what the roof looks like after you take it off. Is see, nothing is attached. It is just, you just loosely sit it on the top and it's intentionally designed like that. So, in there, we've got a double-decker bed, as you can see right here. If I can get my camera in, perhaps you can see better. I'm sorry, it was a little dark. The lighting is kind of not the best, but there you go. There's the lighting. I mean, not the lighting, there's the beds right there. And then if you can see here as well, there is just a plant in a jar, a little mug on the side, a little seat. And then on this side, uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be really hard for you to make it out what that is. Uh, if I can zoom in, yeah, there's no way, no chance you're gonna be able to see that. 
But you can barely make it out. There is a little boat oar right there and just a table with some sort of potion sitting on the top, you know? So there's that. Um, what else can I say? Uh, yeah, no, that's really it for this hut. And that's only one of the huts. So to simply, once again, just to reset this, we just need to sit this back on very loosely. You move this back down just to, you know, just to cover it up. Okay, so that's hut number one. Um, hut number two is right here. And it's actually, it's actually further down here. Yes, it's actually further down here. Okay, I gotta readjust my camera angle again. Be right back. So, hut number two. This would now explain this little crate, crane with cargo. As you can see, if we move down here, you can see this is where that crate of food is sitting, and then this is the crane that lifts it up. And it's actually pretty simple. In the crate itself, there's nothing too much. It's just carrots, apples, fish, and cherries. And you can just simply take that off, and then to, to hook it again, there is a hole right there. Attach it to the hook. Voila, there you go. Now to turn the thing up, you simply just need to turn this wheel at the top, right here. Uh, if I, actually, I'm gonna remove this minifigure. Just like that. Very simple. That moves it all the way up. And then to move it all the way down, simply do, simply do this. It's actually not that hard. So again, it's a welcoming play feature. And yes, it touches all the way to the ground perfectly. In fact, there's a lot of excess string that you can go beyond further. You can actually make a hole or something in the table and just it'll just keep going down. So this crane, is a very long crane I'll give you that like uh, do be expecting a lot of distance a lot of height being able to be covered with this crane okay so in this actual in this actual hut what do we have inside so number one move this up again like I said all the branches on this treehouse are adjustable you can move it and it will it really helps you to give you the space for you to remove the roof once again, this roof is designed a little bit differently because it's like it's a little bit bigger, but uh, it's, it still follows the same color scheme regardless. So there's that. And then the doorway is actually on this side. It's actually right there. You can't really quite see. <clears throat> oh yeah, can't forget to show you guys the drawbridge. Drawbridge, very, very important. This drawbridge is not loose. It's actually attached it's still loose, but it's still attached pretty firm. I like what they've done with the railing here and made the care top pieces and attached that as the part of the railing. I think that's pretty creative. I approve. I definitely, I definitely like that. So this little suspension bridge, done pretty nicely. It is attached on a ball socket. So do take some care. And yes, these leaves here, these are very adjustable. You can move these a lot. And the way these lanterns are attached, there's more lanterns here. But I'm not a, personally not a big fan of how they're attached. It's just, they're too loose. They need to be a little more secured, you know what I'm saying? So, door is open for this shack. Um, now I'm just going to grab the camera once again. And we're going to take a much closer look inside. I can only move this branch so high. There we go. I'm not going to really like explain too much. Because this is hurting my hand, okay. but inside you can see there is basically a bathtub Or like a tub it's for your minifigures. I guess cleanse themselves And on this side, we've just got another sink More of that table or that I'm struggling so much to get this camera in and Yeah, so I guess the really oh, yeah toilet Toilets right there can't forget about the toilet, but Yeah, so basically this hut number two is the bathroom hut. So the treehouse basically isn't one big building. It's more like a series of different small little buildings with different purposes. So this one is the bathroom. Very important that this treehouse has a bathroom, you know? Like, you're not gonna climb all the way down and pee in the bushes. Of course you wouldn't do that. So it makes sense. It makes sense. I cannot attach this back on. Give me a second. And then this is the last hut. 
Now to remove that once again, to get access to that, we once again move this branch up and take off the roof. Just simple as that. Now inside this hut, this is probably the master bedroom. Like this is the, yeah, this is the master bedroom area. So you can see this is where uh, there's like a desktop right there with like a telephone. I think that's a mirror and then with a hairbrush. There, just a little compass. And go on this side, just get a table with a ma letter mail on there. You get the big king size bed. Very nice. That bed is a very nice build. I think that is done quite nicely. And then on this side, we've got just a little, I guess a little shelf display. You got a flower pot there and a couple drawers. And then finally on this side, I don't know if you can see it quite well, there is some binoculars. So, this is probably, yeah, this is the first building that you will get to when you come up the stairs right here from the ground. And I think, um, I feel like the, because this is the master bedroom, I feel like it should be sitting at the highest point of the treehouse, but it's actually sitting at the lowest point of the treehouse, which is kind of ironic, but I guess that's just a subjective opinion. Now, we've covered all three huts on this treehouse, all three different sections of this house. Now, but of course, this is a treehouse, and we can't ignore the fact that this tree screams in detail and color. But there's one thing I'm not a big fan of, and is that's how loose the top is attached. It's all attached on Technic pins. Yeah, I guess it's fine, but look how loose this is. I'm just literally wobbling this a bit. And the fact that these leaves pieces, I, like I said, they're pretty delicate, and you need to take some extra care with them. You really gotta take the caution in this set pretty seriously, because, yeah, the, the, this has a lot of several weak points, and you really need to show extra extra care onto it. So, the last thing we're gonna look at now before we go on the minifigures is of course the top of the tree house. So I'm gonna move this up once again. Move it down here, so here we are. We have full access to all these leaves. Now remember, all these leaves are plant-based and biodegradable. I think that's the wrong word, but whatever. You get the, you get the juice. There's a mixture of dark green and light green here. I like this Con I like the contrast, you know, gives, if the whole tree was stuck to one color, it would definitely not look the prettiest. It would just look plain and bland. So the mixture of the colors here, I feel it is necessary and has been done quite well. It's, it's done the right way. It's this, and just the way they're built, very flimsy, but it really stretches the tree out very much. Like I said, all these branches are all adjustable. So you can adjust the tree to however way you want. Now, like I said earlier, we can alternate this tree into another version. That is, we gotta replace these leaves with the alternate color, the autumn themed color leaves. And if you like fall, I suggest go for that version. But regardless, I will show you what it looks like very, very quickly. So, let's do it right now. All right, and here what it's and here it is what it looks like with all the autumn leaves. So basically, how this works is I just you just simply take the normal green leaf pieces and swap them out for these pieces. These are also uh, plant-based pieces as well, like like the normal leaves. So again, this set is really promoting uh, an eco-friendly future. You know how they hope to make all the pieces by 2030 all plant-based instead of plastic now basically it doesn't really affect the bottom too much it's more like the top it just creates the whole different mood because after all it is the autumn that they're changing this to so you get the whole fall vibes going on and i say this will probably be i think this will look better if you if you prefer this kind of style of a color scheme but it's not as like not as springy, not as blooming as the default one with the green leaves. So if you ask my personal opinion, I would prefer the default version with all the green leaves. Just because I feel like it gives a better, it gives a happiness vibe. Because this, 
Yeah, I guess, but it feels like it's like the, after all, autumn is like the calm before the storm, which is winter. And I know some people like winter, but I personally prefer the spring and summer. So, not really my taste. But regardless, here it still it still looks pretty decent with these leaves. Um, it just affects it affects nothing else from in terms of the rest of the build here. Uh, so the only thing is just yeah. But it, yeah, I think. What do you think? Do you, do you think the autumn leaves here are better, or do you think the uh, spring leaves are better? Let me know. But there you go. I've done two versions. Now we gotta revert this back to the original, and then we'll wrap it up with the final verdict. Now let's talk about value. This set is a whopping two hundred and seventy dollars, and this is in Canadian prices. So depending on where you're from convert the currency to whatever the price of your value is. But I think this treehouse is is worth your is worth your money. And the fact that it is promoting bitonical pieces, you know, pieces that are plant based, the idea is great. You know, in the future when the world when the natural resources that we get slowly deplete then yeah, LEGO has to really come up with alternate solutions and the fact that using so much plastic to create these current pieces is good but in the future it may have an effect on the environment. So for them to slowly transition into biotonical pieces and using plant-based pieces, this is a good start. Hopefully in the future we're going to see more of these style of pieces but I really feel like Again, the quality is good, but it's very cautious, very risky. You really need to be cautious when handling these pieces. Because especially those plants and these leaves, since they're all plant-based, they're very flimsy. And if you're too strong and you're not careful, you will snap them. And you don't want to snap them. These pieces are not, not cheap at all. So I'd say this set, in terms of playability, I feel like this set is better as a display set rather than a play set. But apart from that, I feel like this set is it is totally worth it to get it. Um, definitely, it will be a pretty fun play set. But I I still prefer this as a display model, probably in the middle of the room or something. But my final score for this set will probably be a nine out of ten. I just don't like the yeah, I just don't like the flimsiness of these pieces and some of the ways the leaves were attached weren't too great. Mini fix selection is great and congrats whoever designed this. This set real this model really deserved to be a set and I'm really glad it did. And yeah. It's done very nicely, what can I say? I'm very happy with it. So I would recommend this and yeah, so those are all my opinions. That is, those are my thoughts for the treehouse from the Lego Ideas line. If you haven't seen the other Lego Ideas set I've did so far, which is the Pirates of the Barracuda Bay, go check that video out as well. I'll probably leave the link in the description or something. I don't know. We'll see. But that is it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button on the video and subscribe to the channel for more. I right, we're gonna go. I'm gonna go back to creating more Lego content for you lovely people. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.